hello oh my goodness hi look this is from one of our friends on tiktok let me open it he's so concerned with getting scratches and pets that he doesn't even care about this oh that is good stuff huh big fans big big fans okay while he's having his his snack um yesterday was was good and very overwhelming i did not know anything about feline HIV, um, which is FIV, until yesterday. So just hearing the vet say they both are FIV positive and his tone changed in a very like appropriate way, but it just, it spooked me because I, I care about them so much. It's an interesting way to try to eat it. Guy, okay, want me to get another one? I don't know if they're supposed to have a ton of these at once. I usually do like half of one a day for Finn, but he had a big day yesterday, so he can have a treat. Oh, good stuff, man. You got it on my shoes. I spent most of the night reading y'all's comments and looking stuff up about it and the best way to take care of these guys. So having read everything I read and learned everything I've learned about FIV in the last 12 hours, um, I am gonna be making some changes. First, I initially thought that FIV positive and negative cats could not live together at all. Can y'all hear that? I think they're doing road work on the street, so maybe we'll move to the back so y'all can hear better. We've moved inside. So, I, again, initially thought that they wouldn't be able to be inside, but I've learned that that is not the case, which I think is especially good for Roof, since he likes being inside. Like, I think he would gladly come in and out if I had a cat door somewhere. Coop, on the other hand, shockingly enough, I was really surprised he did not like being inside. He sang his little heart out for the entire like two hours that he was inside yesterday. He wanted to go back outside. He did not want to be inside. He tried to go through my blinds to get outside. So I think he just, he likes being outside. Roof, however, he likes being inside. He gets so much one-on-one -on -one attention inside. Like Coop did not do this yesterday. He did not want to wander around. So I'm thinking I will do slow introductions with Roof and Finn after they've been fixed and have given them a little time to get all the testosterone out of their systems, which is what the vet recommended. The other thing I'm making major adjustments to is their diet. I talked to the vet and asked for food recommendations and read up on feeding FIV positive cats and how to keep them healthy. So I'm going with Hill Science Diet, dry and wet food, which I have put on the Amazon wish list. Gonna be eating like a king, Rufus. Oh my gosh, you are just precious. 